Now it's no homeward bound, I'm bound by the drive Put it all on the line, fire for the sky Got the fire in my eyes, my heart heavy, I don't heat I exceed speed limits and living in LR threes I live in the left lane for a living Only limits I believe in is the addition The shit that I'ma be in My whole culture is vulture, vulcan This is opening biscuits as soon as you provoke them Just don't get it till you go some I'm with it, I'm living like this Forget it as soon as you approach them What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? All right, so I'm cleaning out my box. Um, as you can see, it's empty. All right, so I'm cleaning out my box. I have something that I think might be helpful in terms of space saving. A lot of people have probably seen me do it before, but I figured I'd do some a short video showing what I do for the for the space saving. This has to do with space saving with the chains. Okay. First of all, I don't know how many people hang their chains, but it's probably like this. So. People hang their chains different ways. I'm gonna show you how to save some space hanging your chains. And it saves, it's, it's, it's a good space saver organizer. And when it comes to pulling your chains out, your chains aren't all on top of each other at the bottom of your headache rack. Some people just take one side of their chain and hang it and dump the rest on the bottom of the floor. Right? What happens, what happens with that is once you get all those chains in there, I'm sure all you flat bitters know what I'm talking about. And you got the chains at the bottom of the headache rack and they're all on top of each other and they're tangled. It doesn't work out really well. Then you have others that hang their chains like this. They, they take one, one hook and they take the other hook and they hook it like that. You got others that hook it like that, right? You take one hook, you hook it there, and then they hang it. And they drop the excess in the bottom. So really, we still got a bottom full of chains after it's all said and done. That's basically cutting the chain in half, taking one hook, taking the other hook and hooking it three links, two links down under the hook, right? Now this is what I do. You have your bungees, they're all over the ground, any place you go, you can get them, so, or you can go to Home Depot and buy S-hooks, if that's what you wanna do. Which, personally, I do have some S-hooks from Home Depot, cause I can get them bigger, and they make it easier, but, for the sake of the video, and to show people how we can recycle things. This is a broken bungee. I'm gonna take the S hook off, right? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hang those just like we did with the hook and the hook right underneath it. Then I'm gonna take the chain, Hold it again, so that it, you see that? I'm gonna take the S hook, I'm gonna hook the chain up, you see that? And I'm gonna hook it like that. So now, the chain is hardly touching, there's a few links, there's a few links touching that. Let's do it again. Take the chain. Right? I'm gonna hook it. 
as, and like we do, I'm gonna hang it to take the weight off. Now, you can't see that hang, that's hanging all the way down to the floor. Now I'm gonna take the S hook. I'm gonna bring it in it up. Now the chain is folded in half again. I'm gonna put it on the S hook. What this is going to do is I'm not going to have any issues with chain, a chunk of chains being down at the bottom. When I hang all my chains, they'll be nicely hung and all my floor space will be clear. I don't know if you got that. Let's try and do it so that you can see the whole motion. So I'm going to do it so that you can see the whole entire motion from this distance. Right? We got the chain. We want to the other hook. And hook it to that. That cuts the chain in half. We just folded the chain in half. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold the chain again. You see it? That's how it's going to hang in your box. And how we do that is we take the, we take the S hook. Now that's hanging on the S hook. See it? There you have it. Let me show you what it looks like in a box. You see that? The chain hardly hits the floor. All that floor space. All good. It's hot as hell in here. Hey. All right. So, that's the chain saver. If you need me to do it again, if you couldn't really capture it, if I didn't capture it correctly, let me know in the comments. I think... I think I did, but I'm not sure. I'm not the greatest of cinematographers. Okay. All right, so my snap binders, I'm gonna put in before the chains, and I'm gonna hang them. And when I hang my snaps, it, if you hang them like that, they, they take too much room. If you hang them like that, they take less room, common sense. We're gonna hang the snaps first. So they hang right behind the chain, no problems. Man, that's a big ass snap binder. Obviously holds more weight. When you hang your snaps, you got this part, this part, right? The ass. You wanna make sure that that's facing, facing the back of the headache rack and it, it's gonna save space as well. So basically, while most people hang their chains in half, I hang, or in twos, I hang mine in quarters. Yeah. I hope y'all got the gist of that. But what it does is it gives me, I have all this, I don't have chains and a whole pile of chains on the bottom. I have that whole thing there that I can use for space and that I'm going to use for space because I need it. If you have enough room, if you have enough room, what I suggest is you space them every other hole. Now, I'm going to do it different because I have snaps that are, all the snaps are mine. I have these ratchet binders that are a pain in my 
rear end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang my snaps on the other side and I'm going to hang my ratchet binders in there. But I just wanted to show you that when you hang your snaps, hang it with the ass towards the back of it. So you're hooking it with the ass towards the back of the heli rack. Just like that. They won't push your chains out and you won't even know they're there. You won't even know they're there. It's a beautiful thing. Very little space taken up on the floor. It's a beautiful thing.